So Mike's upstairs, he's doing a bit of work. I've got a challenge for him. Polaroid. Film. What are you doing, Mike? Nothing, boss. I've got a challenge for you. Go out, you've got five minutes to compose and take the best picture that you think you can do in those five minutes. How many frames? One. One frame, so it's like no test shots, no messing around, just one shot. One shot. We just click that, and that opens up. Stick that in there. Ready to go. You're on. How long have I got, Ben? Uh, you got five minutes. Five minutes? From now. From now. Now, the obvious thing is the church. I think Tom will be obvious, and he'll go for the church. So I want to try and go for something different to the church. Let's go for a walk. Of course, the danger is I'm going to be doing this, and then I'll run out of time, and then I will end up taking a picture Church. Something I've just thought of. I better check. Okay, it's square. I just wanted to check what shape the photo would be because that's all going to be part of it. I'm not doing the church. I think Tom will do the church. This might cost me dearly. It might be quick. It might be easy. It might not. Hello, mate. Yeah. Can you just put it on something and just hand it to me? He's never going to do anything like this. If you want to grab that, hold it out to me. Lean forward. Hang on, go back a bit because I want the light on your face. You're a star, mate. OK, hold it. And... Got it! So I've lived in the town for ages. And um, I always find the Minster is such a fascinating thing to look at. And I love photographing it as well. I'm not doing the church. I think Tom will do the church. Yeah. Although Mike tends to like photographing people, I don't. So he may well have done something around, like some, someone in the street or something. It's a pretty town, though. There's lots of stuff around. How much time have I got? Well, that's not too bad, actually. Be a bit more distance behind it, I think. Right here. Wait for those people to get out of the way. So what did he photograph? What did he photograph? Neither of us have seen each other's photos. We are going to put them in an envelope. Into our to, envelopes. Yeah, we're going to seal it. There's no idea of whose photo is whose on this. And we're going to wait for one of our staff members to come in tomorrow and they are going to open these and judge them. And I'm going to win. We'll see. So we left you the other day, waiting for a staff member with Mike and I's photos locked away in these envelopes. Sarah's now here, so we're going to go and get her opinion on whose is the best photo. Afternoon, Sarah. You've got a minute. Anything for you, Tom? What do you think of those? Well, what am I looking at? Right, so Tom challenged me. We've got one frame of old Polaroid film each. We've got five minutes to go and find an interesting photograph and only one shot each. You're the judge. Very good photos on each part, but I am going to have to go with the Minster. <laughs> no, no, it's just nonsense. <laughs> well, it's just nonsense, isn't it? I mean, it's predictable. It's very, very top. Now, this takes a little bit of skill, a little bit of thought. But at the end of the day, yeah, if you're looking at these for artistic content, yeah, I'll grant you, you won that. Yours would look good in the coffee shop. <laughs>